I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarlane. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Nice. Why am I leaning against the pole? Alright, let's just run and uh, do another bonding mission. Why not? Ah, Mr. Just get Marston, him out of the way. How are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Please say I'm not riding. I just want to ride shotgun. No, I'm riding, aren't I? Son of a bitch. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Okay. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. And my balls are being squeezed by the government, I think. That's why those two pricks of bowler hats are there. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. <laughs> You're telling me? Oh, oh shit. What the fuck? Right now. Bro. Fuck off. Oh, why did that? Yeah, but the prick shot me. What was I supposed to do? That's bullshit. Fuck's sake, I'm gonna have to listen to all that bullshit again. Oh, fuck legally driving. Ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm legally driving. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm failing the tutorial missions. What is wrong with me? Fuck's sake. This is tedious. She's not going to speak again, so I'm going to have to chat shit until she does. Ah, oh, shit, I've just run over another horse guy, right? He's going to shoot me, right? Dear Mr. Marston, what dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. A 
According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the card. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. Alright, let's try not to run over um, another prick again. <laughs> so this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing to do right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Okay. Hello there. Go to the doctor's office. Let's go to the doctor's office. See what this bitch says. How would Armadillo get by without me? Hey, partner. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. I didn't have a bullet in my leg. <laughs> I had a bullet in my fucking abdomen, you dipshit. Doctors are retard. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Cool. Well, howdy there. The rail do I have any money? If you want to leave him a delay, there usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. Cool. Or I could just walk. Let's see if I can buy this place. Um, wait a sec. You can save the game, and each location has a hitch horse. Alright, do I have any money? Does it support zero dollars? Okay, I am not even going to try and see if I can buy that house. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to... This M mission, why not? Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> you. Shut up, you. Now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. <laughs> Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dick. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. 
course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have them out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. All right, finally. I don't want to walk along with you because you're a prick and you're taking ages. Well, it is. You're taking ages, you stupid prick. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. No, I don't want to aim at some random. Is that him? I think it is, right? I don't know. As long as it's alive, it will come to you. <laughs> My horse is coming. There we go. We got an old dusty ass. Yeah. Fucking dog. Do not kill wolves in the game. Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Jola Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Alright, is this our like first bounty thing? Ah oh, shit. Our first like bounty thing. Alright, it's like dead or alive or something. Do I get to lasso him? Do I have a lasso? Oh, I don't know. Are you gonna give me yeah. a lasso? I can't remember Looks when like you get this shit. Up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horse. Looks like we got company, boys. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. We're not allowed to kill him, but we can kill everyone on the way. Fuck. Shut the fuck up. I haven't seen you kill anyone. Shit. I'm trying to shoot him in the head. Is that everyone? Boop. 
shit. Boop. Bitch. 